AI training and data labeling became a popular side hustle recently. The demand for high-quality data to train AI models has increased over the last few years. And some of you are already familiar with Outlier. It is a platform where you can do AI training tasks and get paid weekly. And if you are not familiar with it, you can check out the video on my channel where I share my experience. So Outlier is actively hiring now and I keep seeing ads in social media and even LinkedIn. But what if you are already working for Outlier but do not have enough work for your area of expertise? And by the way, many people complain about this now. Or maybe you got kicked out. Then you may want to take a look at some other platforms that allow you to earn money doing the same kind of job. When Outlier banned me, I was curious if there are any other platforms that offer the similar work. And I've done some research and gathered information that might be interesting for other people who are searching for flexible work from home. And in this video, I'm going to share with you three Outlier alternatives. I'll tell you about the application process, the test assignments, their pay rates, and if it's worth the effort in general. And the first platform I want to talk about is uh, dataannotation.tech. Same as Outlier, they say that they offer flexible work opportunities and you can work from home as well. The pay is decent, it starts from £20 per hour and the more complicated tasks, the higher it paid. To start with uh, dataannotation.tech, just go to their website and click the Start Now button. There will be a form uh, that you need to fill out, uh, just as usual, uh, your name, your phone number and your email address. And after you confirm your phone number and email, you'll be redirected to the test assessment page. And there you can choose an assessment that uh, suits you better. It depends on your expertise and the role you're applying for. The coding tasks are paid the best and I tried to pass their coding assessment. But keep in mind, it's hard and the time for each task is also limited. You can choose to write code in JavaScript or Python and some tasks also offer you an option to write a pseudocode. And remember that using AI is not allowed, but I'm not sure how they're going to know if I used AI or not, um, because you're not turning on the camera and I don't think they can track if you use other websites during the assessment. But you can do these tasks even without ChatGPT. There are answers to their questions and coding problems in the internet, so you can just Google them. And if you are not sure about your coding skills, you can pass just the general assignment. It is easier, but it's tedious. You will need to go through the list of questions and choose uh, which response is better for the given prompt by analyzing the tone of this response and by fact checking it. Then you'll be asked to tell about yourself and give them the link to your LinkedIn profile. This is optional, but it improves your chances to be selected. Unfortunately, you won't get any feedback for your assessment. You will know if you passed only if they get back to you with the work tasks. And if not, you'll just see the placeholder page that says thank you for taking the assessment. It is, of course, a bit annoying, but if they don't get back to you, don't blame yourself. Even if you have done your task perfectly, they may just have not enough work for your skill set. And another platform you can try is aligner.com with double R. They promise to pay you up to $150 per hour, but they don't say what is the minimum rate. There is a huge list of roles available and the registration process is the same. You need to hit the apply now button and you will be prompted to log in with your Gmail account. You will need to upload your CV and share your name, phone and some other data. You can do assignments for different roles at the same time in the same account. But I tried few of them and they all are pretty hard. For example, I studied Russian language and literature professionally and uh, I took a test for Russian language. Yes, I passed it, but it was really hard. And my friend, who is also a native uh, Russian speaking person, she couldn't pass this test. So I can tell uh, their tests require uh, professional expertise and you need to really pay attention because some questions are trickier than they look. They used a third-party platform for these tests, uh, Test Gorilla. And you need to keep your camera on during the assessment to make sure you're not cheating. You also cannot pause the test or retake it. And the time is limited as well. So make sure you reserve some uninterrupted time to complete the test. But at least they will let you know if you passed or failed. 
and the test itself are some form of quiz with uh, single or multiple right answers. And recently, Aligner introduced a virtual AI interviewer, Zara. She will ask you questions with her creepy artificial voice and uh, you'll have to keep camera on as well and answer them like it's a real interviewer. This interview was a really weird experience, but I can admit she asked relevant questions and even her follow-up questions were meaningful. Um, but make sure that your internet connection is good. I'm not sure why, but my interview uh, stopped a couple of times, but happily I didn't have to start it from the beginning. It resumes from the same point where you stopped. And reviews on Reddit say that uh, it took around a month for uh, a liner to get back to them after they passed the assignments. I passed both assignments and the AI interview, but no one got back to me yet. And I hope you'll be luckier. And the third and the last for this video website I want to share with you is opentrain.ai. This website, unlike the previous ones, is not a platform for uh, AI training. It's more of an aggregator of data labeling and AI training jobs. You can set up your profile there and list your previous experience. Or if you don't have one, that's not a deal breaker. You can still fill in your profile and apply for the job. The downside of this platform is that the sign-up process is really long and tedious. You can see how many sections it have. And also you may need to pass an interview for every job you apply to. And that also takes time. There is no general pay rate listed on the website, but there are rates for individual jobs. Coding tasks are typically paid higher than the usual ones, but keep in mind that this platform mostly targets the developing countries with the lower pay rates. But again, it may depend on a job role. Just to summarize, uh, even though the demand is pretty high and new data labeling companies appear on the market all the time, it is pretty hard to get into AI training jobs with a decent pay. Unless you are really good at your field and have a PhD and a lot of experience. Most of the easier tasks are outsourced to the developing countries and to get some more industry-specific and well-paid tasks, you have to jump the hoops to pass in interviews and assessments. Personally, I like to challenge myself and pass all these tests and quizzes. I do it for fun. But if you have in demand skills at your place, I wouldn't rely on these jobs so much. It is easier to find a freelance project or a normal part-time job. So that's it for today. That was my experience with other AI training platforms. I hope you found my video useful and if so, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Stay tuned for more passive income and side hustle advices.